In this video, we're gonna learn how to create an operator view. Now, these are really helpful ways to be able to see all of our screens for live streams and stage displays and projectors all in one central space, but it's more than just a multi-view. We can also see helpful information about our presentations and clocks and timers and other helpful information right inside the ProPresenter interface. Now, our operator screen could be an external screen, but instead, we're gonna move our audio bin all the way down and utilize all of this space to create a custom tall operator view. So our first step is to go to screens and then to configure screens. Here you'll see we already have two different audience screens and a stage screen set up. Our operator view is going to be a new stage screen. So we're going to hit add and then we're going to do a placeholder for this screen and set it to a custom size. I'm just going to name this operator and we're going to set the width to be 640 and the height to be 1080. Now this will give us three 16 by 9 screens that can be stacked on top of each other. Now I do want to utilize a little extra space here on the side for some uh, labels. So we're going to actually set this to be 680 by 1080 and we'll hit OK. Now we can name our screen. So I'm going to name this operator so it's obvious what screen this is. And then we can close this out. Now we need to create our custom layout for that stage screen. So let's go to screens and then under the stage section, let's click on edit layouts. And this will bring us to our stage editor. You can also access this by going to more in the main toolbar and selecting stage editor. Now on the left side, you'll see all the different layouts that we have already added, and you can add a new layout by clicking the add icon, and then we can pick a pre-built layout, or for this video, we're going to add a new blank layout. Now the first thing that we need to do is name this layout. Instead of blank layout, we're going to name this operator. And then we're going to set the size of this instead of 1920 by 1080, we're going to set it to the size of our operator screen, which is 680 by 1080. Now let's start adding our screen previews to this layout. So I'm going to go to the add icon here to add new objects to our stage layout. You'll see there's a lot of different objects that we can choose from. And one of them is a screen preview, which will show us exactly what's being sent out of any screen. So first I'll choose my main output. And I'm going to just move this up here into the top corner. And then I'm going to set my size manually to 640 by 360. But you could adjust this on your own if you wanted to. And then let's set a stroke for this so we can see where the edge of our screen is. And then we could go in and add our next screen. So we could go back in, do screen preview, and choose live stream. But instead of doing that, I'm going to just select this and do copy and paste. And I'll just move this down below. But what I'm going to do for this one is I'm going to change the fill. Instead of being a screen preview of main output, I'm going to choose live stream. And then let's do that one more time. Copy and paste to move that one down to the bottom. And let's change the fill for this one from our live stream to our stage display. So now we have our three different screens here all stacked on top of each other. But now let's add in some labels. So let's go to add and choose text. And first, let's resize this text box. So I'm going to go to shape and I'm going to set the size of this to be 360 by 40. And I'm going to rotate this 90 degrees. And I'm going to set a fill for this of a dark blue color. Then let's go to our text settings and change our font size to be like 30. And then we can move this into place. And so we can move this over here and then we can double click and we can type in main output. And then again, we'll copy and paste this a couple times and we're going to add one in for our live stream. And then let's add in one more for our stage display. And then we can go in and update that text. So now we have our operator view where we can see our three different screens. We have nice, easy to read labels. So now let's go back to show. And one thing you'll notice is that our preview area over here isn't showing that new screen. That's because we need to go and change what screen we're viewing. So instead of main output, let's change it to our operator screen. And then we could maybe move this over so it's taking up less of our interface. But you'll notice that our 
preview isn't the layout that we just created. And that's because we need to go over to screens and we need to change the layout for that screen, for our operator screen. Instead of using the music layout, we want to use our new operator layout. So now we can easily see how our content looks when it's being shown on our main output, our live stream, and our stage display. Now this operator view can be more than just screen previews. We can create a layout that looks any way that we want to, and we can include helpful information about our presentation and different things that are happening with inside ProPresenter. So let's go back to the stage editor by clicking more in the main toolbar and clicking stage editor. One way to preview all of the different items that we could possibly add is by clicking on layouts and going to this great presentation info and progress layout. Here you can see what this layout looks like, how it has our slide count, total amount of slides, different playlist items. There's a lot of different great information in here. Now what I did is took a lot of those elements and added some other ones and added that to our tall layout out here. So I have our current playlist item. I have the current slide we're on out of the total amount of slides. I have our next playlist item. I have the name of our playlist, a bunch of different clocks and timers, and I still had enough room to do a couple different screen previews for our live stream screen and our stage display. Now you can't see what our main output looks like, but you can easily see what that looks like on this slide. So to change to that layout, all we have to do is go to screens and then down to operator, and then we can choose this operator extra screen. So now here you can see that we're in the playlist of ProPresenter 7 demo. Our current item is faithful. Raise a hallelujah is next. We're on slide number two out of 69. And you'll actually see that the color of this follows our arrangement colors. So if I go to the chorus, it's going to change it to that uh, pink color there or fuchsia or whatever color you want to call that. And if we go back to the verse, it'll show that. And we go to our bridge, it's changed into that purple color. And we can see previews of what our live stream and stage display look like. And if I would start maybe a segment clock here and hit start on that, that will start running. And so we can see all of that helpful information about our presentation and our views all in this one easy to use operator view. Now, one thing I do want to mention is that when you start adding in all of these screen previews, it does require more processing power from your computer. So if you notice your computer slowing down, it could be because of your operator screen you just added. But now you know how to configure it and to make it look the way you want so that you can present like a pro.